Welcome to AVR. Touch the screen to begin the module. Pick up the watch with the hand you want to wear it on. Check for instructions by looking at your watch. Deactivate the menu by looking at the watch again. Move to the locker area using your thumbstick. Equip your personal protection equipment. Move to the next room. Grab your tool belt. Store the multimeter in your tool belt. Grab your tool bag. Move down the hall to the exit area. Before entering any substation you must call the appropriate control center. Review your JSA and JBF. Proceed out the door to begin the next part of training. You can skip this portion of the tutorial next time by going straight out the door. Welcome to the substation training module. We'll be going inside a virtual site and teaching you the essentials to work in a real substation. Check that all grounding straps are secured. Check for unauthorized entry. Do not enter the substation if any signs of unauthorized entrance occurs, and immediately call the appropriate energy control center. Proceed into the substation. Unlock and open the gate. Ensure the gate is relocked to prevent unauthorized entry. Look around for any signs of animals inside the substation. Move to the SF6 breaker. Be sure to maintain safe distance to equipment at all time. Inspect the SF6 levels on the breaker's gauge. The breaker has SF6 gas low reading. Inform your supervisor in the ECC using the phone in your tool belt. You have notified your supervisor in the ECC of the SF6 gas low reading on this specific breaker. Hang a caution tag on the breaker 3. Go back to the gate entrance to return to the O&M building.
exit the substation and securely lock the gate. You have received the work order for the switching procedure. Review it on the tablet. Review the switching procedure along with a one-line diagram. Confirm switching equipment and visual opens. Contact the ECC and your supervisor to confirm that the switching procedure is correct. You have confirmed with your supervisor and the ECC that the switching procedure is correct. The ECC has to energize the equipment via the control room, and you can now proceed with the work order. Return to the substation. Proceed into the substation. Ensure the gate is relocked to prevent unauthorized entry. The breaker is low on SF6 gas and needs to be refilled. We must first isolate the breaker by opening the air disconnects. Move to the open air disconnect. Inspect the open air disconnect for any issues, damage, or tampering. Remove the lock. Crank the open air disconnect until it is opened. Reattach the lock. Move to the opposite open air disconnect. Inspect the open air disconnect for any issues, damage, or tampering. Remove the lock. Crank the open air disconnect until it is opened. Reattach the lock. The breaker has been isolated and we can now begin the filling process. Move to the SF6 breaker. Attach the pressure gauge to the breaker. Open the valve on the breaker. Attach the gas regulator to the fill bottle. Attach the fill hose to the gas regulator. Attach the fill hose to the pressure gauge right port. Attach the purge hose to the purge bottle. Attach the purge hose to the pressure gauge bottom port.
open the valve on the fill bottle. Set the regulator. Open the valve on the purge bottle. Open the valve on the purge hose. Wait for pressure to reach proper level. Close the valve. Close the valve on the purge bottle. Engage the needle valve on the pressure gauge. Wait for pressure to reach proper level. Close the valve on the fill bottle. The SF6 breaker has been refilled. We can now disassemble the filling device and reconnect the breaker. Detach the purge hose from the purge bottle. Detach the fill hose from the pressure gauge right port. Detach the regulator from the fill bottle. Close the valve on the breaker. Disconnect the pressure gauge from the breaker. Move to the open air disconnect. Remove the lock. Crank the open air disconnect until it is closed. Reattach the lock. Move to the opposite open air disconnect. Remove the lock. Crank the open air disconnect until it is closed. Reattach the lock. Do a final inspection on the breaker before leaving. Remove the caution tag. The SF6 breaker has been refilled and reconnected successfully. Great work! That concludes the VR substation experience. Feel free to continue looking around, or return back to the gate entrance to finish. Exit the substation, and securely lock the gate.